There's actually two types of clicks that can happen in your body. Joint pops and tendon flicks, and they can be good and bad for you. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what actually happens when things crack in your body, why it can feel so nice, and when it really is good for you and bad for you. There are different types of joints in your body and the types of joints that can crack are called synovial joints. Synovial joints have an airtight capsule full of a lubricant called synovial fluid. Think of these types of joints as two sheets of glass stuck together with water. You can slide them past each other, but if you try to pull them directly apart, you can feel some resistance. But pull them apart firmly enough and they can suddenly separate. When this happens, the extra space in the separated joint draws dissolved gases out of the synovial fluid, and this can create a sudden pop. The same happens when you open a bottle of champagne or soft drink. Pressure change. If you squash your two palms together and then pull them apart suddenly, you can hear a similar noise. There's often a nice little sense of relief that comes when a joint cracks, and there's a few theories as to why. One, the separation is thought to release endorphins in the body in some cases. And two, that separation can stimulate movement receptors in the joint, which can lead to a reflex relaxation of local muscles. And three, if the joints are a bit caught or jammed, releasing them can make them feel looser, lighter, and less restricted. There's even a well-received theory that says when you release joints in the spine, it can feed back into the cerebellum, and that has a dampening effect on stress in the brain. There's another type of noise in the body that can sound very similar to a joint crack, and that's a tendon flick. Normally the muscle tendons slide past the joints quite easily with no issue, but if they're very tense, sometimes they can catch on a bony protrusion and suddenly flick or snap past it. If you roll your shoulders and they're tense, you might hear this. Or if you're lying face up and lower a straight leg, you might hear your zoas flick past the pelvis. The way to tell which type of noise it is is by the frequency it happens. In joint pops, it takes 10 or 15 minutes for the gas to dissolve back into the joint fluid and that vacuum to reform, so you can't crack it again until then. But in joint flicks, it can happen every time you repeat the movement. The occasional tendon flick is fine for you. It just means the muscles are a bit tighter than normal and you might need to do some massage or some stretching in the area. But there are some exceptions. If you get a lot of flicks in your zoas, make sure you stretch out your zoas because a tight zoas can increase the arch in the lower back, leading to low back pain. And if they come from the side of your hip or your outer knee, it can cause bursitis by flicking over the protective bursas over these areas. So if you feel a lot of flicks or clicks in these areas, you need to stretch and massage the lateral glutes for the hips and the iliotibial band for the knees to prevent these problems. I have videos on all of those muscles that I'll link below. So should you crack your own knuckles, neck and back? Well, research indicates that this doesn't cause arthritis, but you need to keep one thing in mind. Cracking a joint will loosen the joint, and this is good if the joint is restricted. This is what chiropractors do. Chiropractors find the exact area of restriction in the spine, and they localize the release to that point. But for the average person, it's impossible to know which joint is restricted. If you do a generalized self-crack, any joint can go, and the loosest joints will tend to release first, not the stuck ones. So if you do it time and time again, the loose joints can become too loose. In the knuckles, this doesn't tend to be a problem, but in the spine, it can cause an imbalance in spinal movement that creates problems. I actually have some videos on how to safely release your own spine, so I'll link those down below too. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like me to cover next. Okay, cheers.